Today is Wednesday, 12th of January, 2022, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is praying for all men. Our theme scripture is taken from 1 Timothy 2 verse 1, and it says, I exhort therefore that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Hallelujah. The underlined portion of our opening verse, I exhort therefore, suggests that the sentence is a continuation of a subject earlier introduced. Pastor begins. The most relevant context is found in the 18th verse of the preceding chapter, where Paul writes to Timothy, saying, This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare. That we can find in 1 Timothy 1 verse 18. The next two verses are a brief digression, after which Paul continues, I exhort therefore. Praise God. So, Paul was actually showing Timothy how to war a good warfare. He said, first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. First of all means this is priority in warring a good warfare. Pastor says you begin by praying not for your personal requests, but for all men. All oh, glory to God. For a long time, a number of God's people weren't praying with this in mind. Many were more concerned about their personal agenda and what they wanted from God, such as money, property, fame, and other earthly things. The adversary took advantage of this for a long time to wreak havoc in different nations, but thank God the church has learned and is now awake to her responsibilities. Hallelujah. Pastor says we are acting on the word, praying first for all men. We've been called to war a good warfare. We've been called to war a good warfare, and the instruction is clear. He says, first of all, meaning, before you pray for other things, be it your family, business, finances, and so on, pray for all men. Oh, how important this is. In fact, it ought to be a foundational teaching in the churches. As we lead souls to Christ and bring them to church, pastor says, we ought to let them know they have an enemy whose goal it is to destroy them. We must teach them to pray as soldiers, not for their personal needs, but for all men. The ongoing Pastor Chris Live Prayerthon is an opportunity for you to join millions of others in carrying out your priestly ministry of prayer and intercession for all men in a non-stop prayer marathon. Praying this way is God's instruction and it should be our way of life. You can join millions of Christians praying together at the same time, effecting global changes through the Pastor Chris Live Global Prayer Network. And so, to join the live stream and follow at Pastor Chris Live, Pastor says in conclusion, download the King's Chat app by visiting https colon slash slash lwappstore.com. Glory to God and thank you, Lord, for your word to us today. All right, let's take a prayer now from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me, Dear Father, thank you for pouring out your Spirit upon all flesh all over the world that the knowledge of your truth may be effectively communicated to all men. I pray for as many as will be reached with the gospel today that the light of the gospel will shine in their hearts resulting in their salvation. Thank you for this grace. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right, for further study, please read Ephesians 6 verse 18 and 1 Timothy 2, 1 to 4. Oh, what a privilege it is to join Pastor Chris and millions of Christians all over the world to effect global changes on our knees according to God's will. 
Think about the knowledge of the glory of God who is Jesus in every nation as the waters cover the sea. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe he died to save me. I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. This year, 2022, here's unveiling a whole new season of your Love Old Specials with Pastor Chris. It's the year of the gathering clouds, and we are positioned for an unstoppable rain and massive harvest of souls into God's kingdom. Consider the message of salvation going to more than 7 billion people. Thank God we're doing what he's called us to do and we will achieve our goals. On the 12th to the 14th of January, 2022, join Pastor Chris for your Love Old Special Season 5, Phase 1. It's a date with God's Word and God's Spirit. A great time to align with God's work in this new year, 2022. The time is short. And listen, the doors of the nations will remain open for the gospel. We are led into this time. We are led into this place by the orchestration and design of Almighty God. So things are just going to be moving on the clock of the Spirit. It's showing live on Alpha TV, Live TV app, Love Old Networks, Seaflix app, and social media platforms. Your Love Old Special Season 5, Phase 1. Don't miss it.